Yes, I'm not Indian, but I love it. I really don't mind if I work in series, if I work in movies, wherever I work, I just want to... I love acting. Juk Juk has released. People come up to me and tell me, oh my God, we loved your song and your dance and you look so hot. 2021, I was so busy. I shot Tehran, I shot Hootspah, I shot um, Kandahar, I shot Sangeen, I shot Made in Heaven. Hi, this is Anla Azneruzi and you're watching Bollywood Hangama. So you grew up in, in, uh, in Iran? I, I grew up in Germany, but I was born in Iran. I was eight when I moved to Germany. So yeah, half half. Kind right, of. but I think uh, even for for first eight years, yeah, I'm sure the memories yeah. must be there. Yeah, now, of course. Iran is this this unique, I think, um, this this history. You know, the, the, be the language, be it, be the culture, be it poetry. Yeah. Uh, some some amazing poets uh, they have been there, and obviously, like say, today maybe um, it is looked at in terms of the element of conservative element mm. as well. But you cannot take away that, that element of grandeur that, that the history has as far mm. as Iran is concerned. And then you move to Germany, far more open society. Um, how have you tried to blend uh, your, your, your lineage, your, your heritage with, with, with the Western world? Well, it's a good question because I've, mm. I've always tried really hard not to forget where I'm from mm. and uh, my roots. Um, I remember this this reminds me of a, of something everyone used to tell me when I came to India. Um, I should say that my ancestors are Indian. I should change my name so I sound more Indian. Mm -hmm. And so I accept it more. Um, but for me, even when I was in Germany, I remember I was very young, but I kept telling my mom, mom, I want to go and continue um, Farsi classes because I've only not even I've not even finished two classes in, in, in Iran, you know, so I want to know how to read and write I want to continue that even though I'm going to be in a German school um, I didn't want to forget that, you know uh, I didn't want to be like those who leave their country and then they're like, oh, yeah, we're from Europe You know, we don't I don't speak Farsi. I don't know. Like, you know mm -hmm. how, how those people are I never wanted that and I wanted that to stay within me and now even I say I'm like I, I feel as much Indian as I feel Iranian because my heart, India, is, is something I always wanted. So I live here. Yes, I'm not Indian, but I love it. And this is what I want. So it doesn't really matter. I worked hard to learn the language. I learned hard to um, integrate myself into the business. So that should be enough. As long as I'm doing a good job on screen, how does mm. it matter, mm. right? Yeah, if I came here and I was like, listen, I don't need to learn the language. It's, it's just, I am who I am. Just take me as I am. No, that's not how it works. Mm. You have to, you have to put in the work. You have to, if, if someone would come to my country and wa wants to be in an industry that my country only has, I'd be like, put in the hard work, bro. Mm. It's not going to work, right? So that's what I did. And, and when I learned Hindi, the, the reason I learned how to read and write as well is because I was like, I need to know it properly. Because I want to get my scripts in Devnagri. I want to be able to read it properly, you know? Because hmm. how will I do it otherwise? So um, this, is, this is how I tried doing the same when I was in Germany. It's just, I took the good sides from being German and I tried to keep... So emotionally, I'm very Iranian. And when it comes to work and profession, I'm very German. Like very straightforward. I don't joke around much. Like I'm... I'm onto the dot. I'm onto the job, you know? That that's how I am. But then when it comes to the emotional side, I'm like this very Iranian emotional little girl, you know? Which so I'm is, trying to balance. Which, 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 is, which is beautiful. Um, so in fact I'm 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 reading this book uh, on this very famous uh, uh, poet called Ghalib. Um, and um, he he took a lot of pride in his Persian poetry, mm -hmm. much more than what what he did in Urdu. Like he, he's known for his Urdu poetry, yeah. but um, 19th century was uh, India. Mm -hmm. Was was a time when when if you if you go to in Persian, uh, you were considered really classy and yeah yeah. And he took a lot of pride in um, yeah. in, in that particular element. So I think that 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 is something which is uh, which is um, which is tremendously beautiful. So congratulations Thank for you. for being part of that heritage. All right, and uh, you've you've also said that uh, you you've you've had satisfaction to some extent in your um, uh, web shows that you've done. Mm -hmm. um, 
maybe in in movies you still haven't got what what you would want to do um maybe sangeen is the answer yeah sangeen is very much sangeen is very much what i've always wanted mm. but um for me i think this, again this is something which is very very big in india but for me it's 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 never really about which platform you have mm. it's about what you're doing that c- b- creates a difference now if you see sacred games was not a movie mm. but it became bigger than some movies of course of <laughs> you know course. and um and and it was again all about the performance it's just it's just everything is just a performance so i really don't mind if i work in series if i work in movies wh- wherever i work i just want to i love acting i just want to do that role in the best way that i can mm. and i want people to watch it and be like you were so good and even now i mean it's just been that um juk juk ji has released but people come up to me and tell me oh my god we loved your song when you dance and you look so hot and then they tell me about the scene that i did with anil sir like they tell me it was just a cameo it was one scene but they're like you were so good in it mm. and that's what i need that's all i want i i don't have to be on screen for 2 hours straight for people to tell me that i did one or two scenes well but i did one scene and they liked it So that's for me that's enough. I love that because I did it with full conviction and that's what I want. You're working with uh, with Nawaz Bhai in um, in Sangeen you work with with him in um, in Sacred Games. Uh I think he's a remarkable actor when it comes to making his his co-stars comfortable. Uh which I think he he has this unique ability uh, even though I think he's a huge star. Yeah. Um he doesn't treat he doesn't behave like one and uh, yeah. he really supports um smaller films films that other people they they, they will not even think about yeah um how how important is it for 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 your co-stars um to be to be actors first and maybe maybe not not stars because many a times uh, uh, these these uh, brackets which are there you know, that that he's uh, uh, he's a, he's a star he's mm. a he, he's the heroine and maybe she's the the vamp or maybe she's mm-hmm. she's she's doing this this cameo and wo ek kahin na kahin segregation ho jata hai aur wo ek caste system type ka ban jata hai and wo respect element at times missing hota hai mm-hmm. maybe on this on some sets at mm-hmm. times ab hota hai jaise ki nawaz i think uh, makes sure that how important is that element of respect for an actor like you it's first of all respect at any kind of workplace that you're at is very mm-hmm. important but um maine dekha hai aur aap waisa sahi bol rahe ho aisa hai Mm. Uh, but uh, it's it, uh, i think you do see it when you have an actor and when you have a star on set so there are some people who just think that oh i'm bigger i'm better and i should be treated that way but um again you only see that here mm. you don't see that outside um like i must honestly say and it's and i'm just saying that so that we can get better we can all learn to get better to work together to to be on a set as actors because if i wasn't there with my cameo in juk juk jio it wouldn't have worked because that character was needed if someone else wasn't there all the characters are important right every character of you. course the film is theirs but you need everyone you need each and every character to be able to make the film mm. otherwise something is going to be missing So I think that's what we need to understand and um and to learn to work as co-actors together instead of co-stars. What next apart from uh, you you've just had two songs you're having Sangeen coming up. What are the what are the what are the sort of offers that are coming your way that are that are really exciting you right now? I do have um well okay for instance now I have Made in Heaven season 2 coming at the yes. end of the year. Yes. Uh, that's very exciting that's also very performance driven and i can't wait for that um i'm dancing in that a little bit too but it's more performance and um i have kandahar which is with jawab patla and sangeen which is supposed to come and um the the kind of um offers that i'm getting right now we're just really contemplating thinking what we should do next because mm-hmm. i feel the next move is very very important right okay. um but it's good it's good it's all performance it's all performance i love it i yeah. love it that's amazing all right uh, as i was mentioning you to you a short while back uh, last last year in 2020 we celebrated your birthday on a zoom call yeah. <laughs> the pandemic was was raging at that point of time yeah uh, 
and uh, I've, I've had these discussions with you about about pandemic you 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 went to germany at that point of time and how things were and um, how 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 it impacted you in a in, in a big way now your birthday is coming up once again yeah so how have the last two years been what has it taught you and how have you started uh, valuing life maybe different than what what it was earlier well i remember when the pandemic started and i left for germany there was a lot of talks about you know how everyone is talking about recession right now mm. just recession 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 back then it was just corona 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 the producers don't have work there are no no movies are going to be made anymore no money i was just like um okay i'm jobless like this is it this is it you know mm. I was so stressed and then I got an offer of from a reality a big big reality TV in Germany they were offering me huge money but it was I never wanted to do reality reality TV I never wanted to do that thing so I was in front of this decision where people were like take it it's a lot of good money you're going to get a lot of fame in Germany we're not sure what's going to happen in Bollywood do that and I was just like it was so hard and I decided against it because it's just not who I am and then one year later 2021 i was so busy i shot tehran i shot hutspa i shot um kandahar i shot sangin i shot um what else made in heaven you know so i just feel like sometimes it's just about just understanding the situation and not maybe losing your mind i stuck by what i want to do I didn't do the reality show because I knew this is not me. No matter how much money I needed at that time, I was just like this is not me. I'm not going to do it. So, um this is what it taught me that you should stick to who you are and your decisions no matter what the situation is. And um yeah, it also taught me that things can change very quickly. Things can change very quickly. That's right. amazing. Right. Hi, this is Anna Zaruzi and you're watching Bollywood Hangama.